everybody has an imagination and everybody has their own dreams. And that's the one thing that sort of connects everybody. It doesn't matter what part of the world they're from. So I wanted to make something that moved at a different speed than all of the other things that you see, than all the advertising that you see here in Times Square to really capture people's attention because so many people that are here have no idea that this thing is about to happen. And it's about sort of grabbing them, engaging them for three minutes and letting them sort of go along for the ride. Making a piece of art on this scale is something that uh, I've never done before just because it's a scale unlike any painting that I've ever made, but uh, what's amazing is the fact that I'm able to engage with such a huge public from all over the world, much differently than I would having a painting in a gallery or a museum. I really wanted to see how I could translate my painting, which is really about spontaneity, it's about intuition, into a time-based medium. How do I get the spontaneity and all the accidents that I get in my paintings in a video? And I realized by not knowing really what I was doing, um, the accidents that were happening within the editing were as spontaneous as any drip on a canvas. I took one painting and I deconstructed it. I took out the, the brush strokes, I took out the line work, took out the backgrounds and then reorganized them essentially in a moving collage. One of the reasons that we chose November for Emilio Perez's dream season is because the work would be reflected in this piece that Rachel Valdez Camejo created called The Beginning of the End. So it's an incredible synergy of two Cuban artists that have come together during this month, supported by the Cuban Artist Fund. The piece itself is really about transporting somebody from one place to another and taking a road trip of the imagination.